This is an R9 Fury X. Wait. This is an R9 Fury X. Then what's this? Oh, it's an R9 Fury? Wait, what's the difference? Oh. I guess it's only 1%. I didn't know that. My friend gave me this card in this video, and I gave it the wrong name. That's my bad. The Sapphire Nitro R9 Fury is definitely a looker, I'll tell you that. This card has 4GB of video memory, a 28 nanometer chip size, a 1020MHz core clock, and a 500MHz memory clock. The R9 Fury came out December 8th, 2015, which brings me to this next bit. This card doesn't get driver updates anymore. AMD ended support in 2022. The only question I have is, why? On the other hand, NVIDIA has the GTX 980, a card that came out in 2014, a year before this one did, and the 980 will still get drivers until the end of 2024. It's actually really sad considering the performance. And speaking of performance, let's get to the benchmarks. I'm testing this in my personal computer. It has a Ryzen 5 1600 overclocked to 3.95 GHz. I actually had to add an extra 8-pin cable to my power supply because my 2070 only requires one and this card needs two. It's a hungry boy, as you can see. Anyways, let's see how it can game. So, in conclusion, this card is still usable, but the lack of new drivers and the 4GB of video memory is starting to show. For example, Fortnite has a bunch of lighting glitches, and the usage of the card is all over the place. Another example was Death Stranding. The average frame rate looked okay, but the stuttering was unbearable. Although, if you have one of these cards, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Modded drivers. Modded drivers allow the card to actually be utilized correctly by games. Go check out this video Iceberg Tech did on the modded drivers for these cards. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you liked this video and leave a dislike if you didn't. 
subscribe for more, and that's all for now. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.